Hello everyone, this is Tim, and this is going to be a quick reply video to Keith Hershey Jr., who's trying to get some games together and things for some kids that he's uh, you know, going to be hanging out with during the summer. So, <laughs> I am in my sort of man cave here. You know, I kind of have all my stuff sort of piled up. Got a nice little ladder back there. I don't know why that's in here, but uh, yeah, this is what happens when your kids take over the house and <laughs> all your stuff gets sort of crammed into one corner of uh you know what's left over for me so uh yeah <laughs> you know but it's cool you know my daughter's got a her own bedroom but i'm kind of cramped in here so i don't really mind getting rid of some of the stuff that i haven't used in a while uh things that will hopefully you know find more use in the hands of somebody else and uh you know if it can inspire some kids to get into gaming you know i'm all for that so i'm sort of looking around for things to you know part with and Let's see here. What did I find first? Um, Keith had mentioned about uh, Star Wars being a big thing. So I got a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Uh, some of the Timothy Zahn novels here. Got a bunch of them. Got the first, I got a Thrawn trilogy. And uh, I think I gave a bunch of the other ones away to uh, use bookstore in town to try to get myself some store credit. And I kept these ones, but you know I've read these a couple times. It's probably going to be a long time until I read them again, so you know, maybe one of the kids will want to run a Star Wars game based off you know, the, the books. We'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, that's the first bit. I forgot. I'm also going to try to throw in some D6s in there. I mean, you could probably pull them out of some board games somewhere, but uh, just in case. I'm, with that many kids, I think he said there's like 80-some kids, you're probably going to need a few more dice. <laughs> so I'll try to throw those uh, D6s in there for you too, Keith. All right, I had actually won this uh, board game from my GasCon convention, and it's been sitting in my closet. I forgot I even had it. It's called Terra Nova, and it looks like it has like little, like wooden pieces and some terrain, and I think you're trying to, you know, like claim certain territory for your king or something. But it looks, you know, fairly interesting. I don't know if my my wife or anybody would really be into playing it. So, so yeah, it's just sat in my closet for a while. So maybe you know, one of the kids will get into that. And some more Star Wars stuff. I picked this up at a yard sale. Uh, Star Wars Encyclopedia. They got it for like seven bucks. The thing's huge. It's illustrated. Has all kinds of stuff about the different planets and alien races. So that, that kind of goes along with some of the other stuff I'm going to give. Star Wars, the essential vehicles and vessels. I photocopied a bunch of these for a Star Wars one shot that I ran using BRP at uh, my local convention as well. And Star Wars, the essential guide to weapons and technology. So there's lots of illustrations and, you know, how things work, <laughs> you know, in the Star Wars universe. And this next thing was actually, I don't know if it was this one or not, but I have two copies of the Star Wars D6 uh, role playing game. And this is the second edition revised and expanded so this was actually given to me by webhead123 a long time ago and he still has his videos up if you want to check him out i'll make sure to put his uh, link to his channel below but he was always a good guy he he interacted with with me a lot um i believe he left and took down well he just stopped doing videos because of you know like drama and things that crop up from time to time you know in these online circles but he gave that to me because you know he I believe I had mentioned it in one video and he had an extra copy and I never saw one but but anyway I'm gonna pass this on pay it forward and hopefully some kids will get to play some Star Wars D6 and let's see what else I have in my uh, Tim Harper grab bag here all right we got castles and crusades the player's handbook and I believe this is all you need to to have to play um, I think this is the first printing and from what I understand, the Castles and Crusades first printing is uh, sort of littered with typos, but I've never got a chance to actually dig into the book and look at it. I did get to play in a one-shot of it, and I had a lot of fun. So sort of like a little bit more of a more modern take on like an OSR game. But, you know, the Castles and Crusades fans are all over the place out there, so, uh, you know, people are all into that. So that's cool. For me, I just, I don't know, Labyrinth Lord does it for me, Lamentations of the Flame Princess. You know, I've got plenty of fantasy uh, games that I can use so it's you know just one spot on the shelf I don't need to have a book on these next two came out of a box set I 
hope that you can run the game with these just by themselves. I'm not sure. But uh, Marvel Super Heroes, the rule book. And Marvel Super Heroes, the campaign book. And I think they came with like character sheets and things inside the box. Someone, I remember seeing a video talking about that. So hopefully you can make characters in that. Uh, if not, Keith, maybe you can go online and find something and print it out for the kids. But, you know, I figured superheroes. I never really got into superheroes when it comes to RPGs, except for, like, lame superheroes. Like, you know, I have the power of some ridiculously, you know, just just above mundane <laughs> skill. Like, uh, you know, the power to uh, deflate footballs, you know. <laughs> just something really weird like that. I want to run a campaign with, like, lame superheroes one day. But, uh, but, yeah, that's just, like, the Marvel stuff. This next one I've always sort of wanted to play, but I never got around to it. And I really don't see myself... <laughs> really ever getting around to it so um this is coyote coyote oh, i can't talk uh coyote yeah that <laughs> why can't i pronounce that word right now coyote coyote uh trail wild west role playing and it's a pretty rules light system it has lots of information on the wild west i've actually used it as reference material for other games that i've run i ran uh shotguns and sorcery one shot sort of like wild west uh, plus magic but uh yeah, it seems like it's pretty simple to run. Uh, it's not very complex. So maybe if the kids want to play, you know, Cowboys, they can get into that. And last but not least, there's always graph paper. So <laughs> I'm going to throw in one of those because I, I have, like, way more graph paper than I'll ever need in my entire life. But, Keith, hopefully I'll get this off in the next couple days, and I'll let you know when I ship it out. Uh, hopefully I can send it media mail because I think that's cheaper. But, yeah, I'll let you know when it sends off. Uh, it goes into the hands of the lovely uh, postal workers so thanks a lot and hopefully you get it soon keith if anybody else wants to donate anything to uh, the kids at the community center where keith is going to be volunteering i'll put the information down below as well all right thanks